in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, Paul continues with the division, the factions that have been going on in the church in Corinth. He says, what, what is me? What is Apollos? He said, we are servants of God. We are stewards of God. And what are stewards? Stewards have been entrusted with something that doesn't belong to them. And in the end, they will give an account to their master how they used that gift that was given to them. He says, so they are stewards. They should not be elevated beyond who they are. He said they, they are judging. They are judging him because, you know, as I said in the beginning, people were condemning Paul that he wasn't one of the 12 disciples who gave him the authority. He said, I'm being judged by some of you. He said, I don't judge anybody. I don't even judge myself. That's the work of God on the last day to judge because God sees the heart. So he said, if you do want to judge, don't go beyond what is written. You need to use scripture to judge. There was a prophet who died a couple of years ago. This is one of the reasons why I liked that man. When you go to him with a, an issue, he will tell you, open the Bible, open here. When you open it, you read it and you're still saying, no, 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 no. He says, okay, then go here. When you go there, you're still arguing with him, go here. By the end of that conversation, which could last two hours, you'll be convicted in your spirit that what you're doing is either right or wrong. So Paul is saying, use the word to judge. So as believers, if we want to judge each other, not non-believers, we have to use scripture. And we also have to judge from a heart of love, not come down heavy handed and say, yes, you're going to hell. The Bible says so. No, <laughs> we need to judge in, in love. You know, I, I knew a pastor once that, you know, to him, everybody is a child of the devil. That one is a child of the devil. That one is a child of the devil. These are members in his church. What gives him the right to judge somebody else's servant? On that day, we shall all stand and we shall all be judged. And uh, he said that when we all appear before God, he will commend us because, you know, he will ask, what did you do with the gift you are given? And he we will be co uh, commended. He didn't say condemned because those who are in Christ Jesus, there is now no longer any condemnation. And he says that uh, some people are saying he's not going to come again. He won't come and visit. He said he will come. And then he asked the question, when I come, do you want me to come with more discipline or should I come with like brotherly love? You know, where we all sit down and hug each other. So here he's just trying to tell them that they should sit down and think because some of them are proud. They're saying they are rich. You know, they are wise. He said, what did you, what do you have that you did not receive from God? He said, Any, everything you have, you were given it. Your intellectual, you were given it. Your wealth, your riches, you were given it. Everything that you have. He said, we apostles, we are being treated like uh, common criminals. Where people just talk to us anyhow. GA, like we're going to execution. We wear tattered clothes. We, you know, he said, I'm not saying all of this so you feel bad. But I'm just saying that you haven't arrived yet. All of us are still a work in progress. We are all working towards it, including myself. So do not boast. If you have to boast, boast in the Lord, boast in Jesus. So this is just 1 um, Corinthians chapter 4 in a nutshell. God bless you.